Hi, this is Ron Metchie, we're playing the Hunter on PC. Today we're taking a look at the brand new 10mm semi-automatic pistol. Engineered to exacting standards, this time-honored piece has earned its place in the firearms history. Built with the Hunter in mind, this 10mm pistol has a knockdown power and accuracy to be the perfect choice this hunting season. That's a store description out of the way, let's take a closer look at the gun. The ammo this gun takes is 10mm auto ammunition. The permitted species are Alpine Ibex, Bighorn Sheep, Black Bear, Black Tail Deer, Coati, Dal Sheep, Feral Goat, Feral Hogs, Grey Wolf, Mule Deers, Red Deer, Red Kangaroo, Reindeer, Rocky Mountain Elk, Roe Deer, Roosevelt Elk, Sitka Deer, White Tail Deer and Wild Boar. Right. Let's have a look at the reload animations now and the gun sand. So let's uh, add some bullets in. Here we go. See how the mag goes in. All right, let's fire some shots, see what it sounds like. Here we go. And let's fire another clip. I'll go to third person and you can see how I reload the gun. Ready? There you go. So now we've had a closer look at the gun. We're going to move on to White Hot where there is a range with targets. I'm going to fire a few shots and see how accurately I can use the gun. One thing I'm interested in seeing is the power of the gun and how accurately you can shoot it. Obviously it's semi-automatic so want to see how accurately you can shoot the gun and kill animals or be on target. So I've got two pretty close targets here. It hasn't got a scope on so obviously you're not going to be shooting obscene amount of distances so we'll try this one and see how accurate we are. This distance Pretty easy to fire, pretty quickly, pretty accurately. That's my first time using the gun, and as you can see, pretty easy at that sort of short distance. So, quite happy with that, and it's not too hard to use. It's not very far away, I know, but we're just seeing how it is, and how easy it is to control the recoil. And this is a bit further, this is probably a bit more realistic where you probably use this gun because most animals uh, will speak about 20 to 40 meters so this is like 35 meters here goes it's a bit more quick to fire fastly at this range just takes a bit of practice, remember I'm new to the gun and I'm low level so as you progress that will get better So not too bad, one straight above, but not too bad at all. For my first go at that, uh, I think that's not too bad. Obviously you could do it perfect and keep practicing and it will get better as you use it. So let's move on and actually try and kill an animal with it now. Looking at the permitted species list, the animal I'm going to go for is a red deer on Hirschfeld and now I've come after red deer because it's one of the bigger animals on the permitted species list and one thing that people want to know about this gun or will want to know about is the power it has. It's got speed to fire quite quick, has it got the power? Right, so we found some red deer, got three red deer, two females and a small male. The main thing is it's not about a trophy red deer, it's testing out the power. So I'm going to call in the red deer and see if we can drop it with one shot. So I'm going to give it a call. Got the rain coming in. I knew it stopped raining as soon as I started recording. It's just like a curse. But um, it does seem to rain quite a lot on Hirschfield. And it does for me anyway. So what we're trying to replicate here is an in-game situation where you want to pick out a target animal, which is the male red deer. I want to know if this gun has the power to do what I want it to do. That's the whole point of why you buy a gun. The thing is, with any gun, you've got to be accurate 
and that is a big thing. It's no good saying the gun's useless if you aim it badly. You have to be accurate, then you can assess if it's any good or not. So hopefully the females don't mess this up, because the females will probably come in first and we get the male red deer. So at least we're going to have a go at it. Right, I'm just going to get into position. I'm just trying to get it so I'm in line with the red deer. Because the females are probably sweeping in front of it. You often know what the female uh, red deer are like and the female elk. They're quite dumb or they come really close and they'll spook like right on the end of your gun. Shout out to those who noticed the steam achievement for this last week. Nobody really knew about this gun, but that sort of gave the uh, warning signs that it was coming out. And when it got patched today, I thought it's probably that gun, and it was. So, eagle-eyed people, they never <laughs> never miss a thing. Right, come on. Right, they're getting very close now. I think it's about time to see how Mr. 10mm pistol is. Will it do its job? Here goes. Oh, don't you stop there. Don't you stop there. <laughs> no, we're alright. Here we go. And it's down. I'm not going to bother shooting at the females. I just wanted to shoot the male, see if it would drop in one shot. Now I know that's possible. I'm happy with it. So, I think the key thing with this pistol is being accurate when you're firing it and you should take down most things pretty easy but you've got to make sure you hit the right targets no good just spamming it off I can't see anyone just going bang 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 and shooting loads of animals I don't think that's going to work like that I think if you just put in an accurate one or two shots it should be alright so that's been me Ron McTube we've been taking a look at a brand new 10mm semi-automatic pistol Please subscribe to my YouTube channels, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching, bye bye.